膝結いの打ち直しに成功し強打へ戻った力丸だったが場内では事件が起こっていた松之進が早めに襲われ傷を負ったというが一時は逃亡を図った綾目だったが城下の竹林で捕まり今は牢に閉じ込められているという老番の目を盗み綾目と対面する力丸だったが綾目は自分の仕業ではないと主張するのだった綾目の言葉を信じたい力丸だったが綾目の無実を証明するものは何もないそんな力丸に綾目は彼女が捕まった竹林に迎えと言える竹林へとたどり着いた力丸が目にしたものはそこにいるはずのない綾目の姿だった綾目の睨んだ通りか正体を暴いてくれる竹林に足を踏み入れた力丸だったがそこは何者かによって放たれたもののけ式神が割歩する竹林と化していた。Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Tenchu, Wrath of Heaven. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to do the.、Uh... What was I going to say? We're going to do level 7. We're going from the cemetery and we're going to go to. The Bamboo Forest, I think. There we go. Right. So, we're going to the Bamboo Forest. As you can tell, our friend Ayame has been put into prison. And someone is impersonating her, as she is the actual one who attacked Lord Goda. Now we have to find out who that is and put a stop to it. Preferably by putting a sword straight up her face. As you do. Okay. So, I was a bit too close. So, that the blue,、uh, blue demon guy saw me, but that's okay. Right. You're dead. Bye. Okay. So, first things first, we have to avoid some spirits. This area is really hard to get through without being caught. Like, really hard. Because there's guys everywhere. Especially trying to do this for Grandmaster, which I'm going to do after this episode is finished, is going to be really hard. Because, like I said, literally. Everywhere. You can hear a strange noise. That's the noise of spirits. Spirits are a unique enemy. I think in this level and the next, that、um, do a few things. They're basically apparitions, like a trick, but as with most tricks, they can still cause damage to people. So. Okay. So we killed him, unfortunately, I got caught by that demon. Oh, I got caught by the spirit. Okay. Don't mind me, I'm just making tracks. Okay. I didn't know there was another spirit. My bad. Kill him. Kill this guy. Get myself two level ups for the price of one. Jump over here. Why did I do that for? To get myself a healing potion. 
Now I've got to figure out how to get out of here. Right, there we go. You might have realised that I actually took an ninja rebirth into the level with me, which is uncharacteristic. Because I don't usually do that. But there's a reason why I've done that this time, and that's because this level is actually really hard, and the boss fight is cheap. And will throw knives at you. Just because she can. So I've brought lots of potions to heal with, and lots... Oh, I bought a ninja rebirth, which you can only take one of. So we're going to crawl through here. We're about... That's the first third of the level done. Split into three, three very distinct parts. This is the second part. Which is uh, actually much smaller than the first, but it's okay. The third section makes up for it by being very long. So that's okay. Let's go through this little crawling space. We have to. Uh, the water, as always, makes me a very unhappy guy. Because of the way that it handles things. I think that, gets count that counts as being caught like four times in a row. Although it may only count the amount of um, enemies that caught you and not the amount of times. That would be better. Of course, I set myself on fire because I'm an idiot and forgot that the fire hurts you if you walk through it. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because otherwise you'll definitely get caught on this bridge because there's two guys on this bridge not just the one I was kinda hoping to get up further than this but that's okay here's the second guy on the right hand side now and he'll definitely catch you if you let him so I take care of him first and then I'll take care of the spirit So now I'm going to crawl back over again and kill the spirit. As with most enemies in this game, if you can't stealth kill them, you can kill them in one shot just by hitting them from behind. If they aren't aware of your presence. The reason why I do this is because I don't trust myself to get close enough to this guy without dying or getting caught. The game says beware them at all costs. There's no real reason why you should beware them at all costs. They aren't that scary. It's just that uh, they hurt quite a lot. Okay. So, with that out of the way, we can continue onwards. The way forward is actually underneath this bridge. But the way I'm going to go is this way. And that's because there's a second ninja rebirth here. Just because you can only take one into a mission doesn't mean you can only take one at all. You can have more than one. Oh shit. So that was a cataclysmic failure on my part. But that's alright. You can't win them all. So this time what I'm going to do is just going to leave. And then vanish. Ninja vanish! Woohoo! So now they're definitely never gonna see me, even though I'm just hanging on the bridge and my sword is shiny as all hell. Doesn't matter. So that spirit saw a dead body and was like, what the hell? I don't even know if the spirits are capable of thought, but there you go. Turn around, Mr. Spirit. Thank you. Oh shit. Well, that's just that's just a bad time all around. 
There's not a lot I can do now. Besides kill them. Which is what I was going to do anyway. Eh. I am really bad at aiming my sword, apparently. For an expert ninja, I don't half make a mess of things. Okay. Yum. There's the spirit. I can kill him stealthily, hopefully. There we go. Right. So now that's sorted out. I can continue on with my life and actually go through the level into the third third, which is the uh, longest part. Well, technically you could say, yeah, here, you could technically say it's split up into quarters, but I don't really count this as a section because it's so small. I mainly just say this as the, the third third, all of this, the rest of the level is the same. God damn it. I have this problem where I always, I always do this. Which is, what, what I mean is I always uh, just kind of get caught in silly ways. Or in ways that don't really make any sense. Like how on earth would you get caught that way? But here I am getting caught that way, so. I don't know. Don't ask me to explain it. Okay. There's a wolf somewhere around here. Who always, always catches me. Okay. This spirit is going to become a problem. A definite it's going to become an issue for me. Let's grab this. Is a healing item. He was a little bit of health, not too much, but a little bit. Okay, so now I need you to turn around again so I can actually deal with you. Because otherwise. There you go. Right. So you're dead. Now there's a wolf somewhere around here. There he is. Mr. De Wolf. How good your eyesight, Wolf? Not good enough. Okay. Let's learn our new skill. Which is the wall kick. So I can jump towards the wall and kick off of it to hit an enemy. So like this, I can go... Yeah! Which is good for hitting people off guard. They, uh, they don't expect you to just flail into them with huge amounts of force. Spirit that's going to come around this corner soon. Unless it just left. No, it's going to come now, I think. Yeah. So the way to deal with that is not like that. I was trying to jump around the corner, but I couldn't actually get around the corner, so I just ended up looking like an idiot. So now I'm like caught in the stun gas. Luckily I can hit myself out of it. Otherwise I would have been in real big trouble. Okay, so now we're going to go through this way. Now we have the choice of two options. Now, I've already made the mistake, so I might as well keep going this way. The optimal path is to go the other way. But, if you can go this way, you might as well. Put yourself through the bamboo. This is the bad path. Because it's much harder to get stealth kills on this part. At least I think so, compared to the other half. Also, that's like a... Always a bullshit thing the blue guys do when you don't stealth kill them. 
They drop these massive bombs that do 50 damage if you get hit by both of them. It's still a lot of damage if you're gonna get caught by one, if I'm honest. Okay. So now we're gonna go through here. Game's gonna slow down a bit. That's alright, it doesn't matter. Not important in the grand scheme of things. It's not unplayable, so I don't really mind. Who's seeing me right now? Ah, the guy down there is seeing me. That and the spirit here. I was hoping the spirit wouldn't notice me, but there you go. Bah! I think a wolf is also on its way. These guys can block, but not very well. Fucking die already. I can't believe this guy isn't dead. Go on. Oh my god. Thank you. You're dead. Ow. You're gonna die soon. Oh, phone ring. Sorry about that. Oh wait, I was in the middle of fighting someone and I paused. That was really silly of me. Okay. It was my father, so it wasn't just some bullshit call. It was actually important. My dad wanted to speak to me, so I said okay. Then we had a nice little... Oh. oh boy. Then we had a nice discussion about some things that I had to do while he was away on holiday. That's fine. Okay, so let's go up here. And we're nearly at the end of the level now. All we have to do is get through this bit. And now we fight. Actually, no we don't because this is... There she is. Here we go. Right. So we're going to fight Ayame. Which is the other playable character in the game. But she's not actually Ayame. She's uh, an impersonator. So don't worry. It's not like I've just decided to go mad and start killing my, my own allies. So this guy, uh, this girl, Ayame, she cheats. She has these knives that she can throw forever, and it's kind of broken. It does so much damage to you. She only does it at a certain range, which is this range. Yeah, it does 30 damage, but she only does it at long range. So you can avoid it by getting closer to her or jumping over them. Problem is. I'm really bad at fighting her. And I know I am. There we go. Okay. I got ninja, which isn't bad, considering I got caught 40 times. Oh well, so, you're gonna go get some items? Yay! And then we're gonna retry. So, I'll see you guys next time when I get Grandmaster on this level go to the next one. But for now, see you guys then. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye!